Good morning, praise the Lord. Today, May 26th, I want to give you a word of caution. Beware, house of God. In 1 Peter 4, 17, first part, For the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God. The time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God. Such a frightening statement. The time referred to is the dispensation of the church, which began at Pentecost and will continue till the rapture. The house of God refers to the church. During this age, the church is undergoing judgment by the unbelieving world. Believers are experiencing their sufferings now, just as Jesus did when he was on earth. Such suffering has a cleansing effect on the house of God. Divine judgment will culminate in the terrible outpouring of wrath upon those choosing to refuse the gospel and on those who made the good Christians suffer. God is seeking for intercessors who will plead with God to send revival and renewal to to his church. For it's only when God's spirit is allowed to work among his people that the flood of evil and the lukewarmness of some of the Christians can be stopped and righteousness and justice flourish in the land. The saints want God to judge the wicked, but we should realize that the time has come when the judgment would begin at the house of God. If God sends a fiery trial to his own children and they are saved with difficulty, what will happen to lost sinners when God's fiery judgment falls? So, instead of being concerned only about ourselves, we need to be troubled about the lost sinners around us. Abraham interceded for Loth when God decided to destroy Sodom. When Loth lingered, the angels forcefully brought out Loth and his family from the fire. In the same manner, we have to intercede for the for all the lukewarm Christians who are inside the house of God and for the Gentiles around us and force them out of the fiery hell. In Jude 22-23, it's clearly stated that we should be merciful to those who doubt, save others by snatching them from the fire, to others show mercy, mixed with fear, hating, even the clothing stained by corrupted flesh. Since the judgment starts at the church, we should try to preach to the lukewarm Christians in the churches. We should always remember these words and pray for all the souls which are ready to go to hell. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this caution, Lord. We as Christians feel that we are safe, but we forget that most of the time we are not going according to your law. Please help us to be obedient, to grow in faith and bring others to you. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.